Hello and welcome. Hey. <laughs> right, we're off to somewhere called Kilvaxta Souterrain. I think it's called. Souterrain. Souterrain is like an underground Iron Age ancient thing in Kilvaxta, which is only a mile down the road. Uh, we've just been talking about it, haven't we, Mazzy? We have. <laughs> so I've been reading about it and it says in, in when it's been raining, it floods. So I suggested we put us wellies on. She knows I'm going to make her look silly now. <laughs> I suggested we put us wellies on so that we might be able to go into this souterrain. And Mazzy says, well, why don't I put yours on? Because then they'll be bigger. <laughs> because she's smaller than me, she thinks if she puts my wellies on, she'll be able to get deeper inside than she would, than I would. Yeah, I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get there. <laughs> just looking out there, guys, there's a big storm. I don't know if it's coming this way or it's going sideways, but if that hits us, we're going to get very, very wet. So this down here is a museum. It's the Museum of Life. But it's not open at this time of year, unfortunately. I don't think I've been there before, but I might have been. I've certainly been to very similar places. Looks quite interesting. It'll be full of farm machinery and things like that. Very nice little buildings. It's a shame though, because a lot of the museums are actually closed, aren't they? This well, every year. single one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't <laughs> found one open yet. Oh, the castles are as well, aren't they? Which is a shame. Yeah, yeah it's all closed, which I think is a bit silly, really, because there's a lot of people around. Like, we were just up at the, the graveyard and there were two other couples there. So it's not like um, they wouldn't get visitors. So you seem a lot more relaxed here than you did when we were on the Isle of Mull. I'm a lot more relaxed. I do prefer it here. I've been, as I say, I've been before, so I, know, I knew what to expect. It is, it's, it is more relaxing. The roads are easy to drive down. The people are much friendlier. The sites are much better. The only thing Mull has got which this place hasn't got is much better scenery. Would you agree? Yeah, well, it's, they've both got nice scenery, but um, I don't know, there was just something about the Isle of Mole. It was quite pretty, wasn't it? It's a very, very beautiful island. Yeah, very it's, beautiful. It's more beautiful than Sky. We'll have to admit that. Yeah. We're here now, Mazzy. We're at. Wow, here already. Where yeah. are we? Iron Age. Iron Age. Yay! Are you okay? Yeah, why are you pointing the camera at me? I just want to see your fashionable wellies, look. You look really cute. <laughs> Fantastic, and they're exactly the same length as they would be if you wore them. <laughs> so here we are. Kill, I think it's called Kilvaxter Souterrain, an Iron Age house. An Iron Age thing. What do you think of it, Mazzy? Yeah, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> you mean, where is it? Where are you? We're on top of it. Oh, okay. It's underground. Oh! A souterrain. I don't know if I'm saying that word right, I'm sorry. It's like an underground thing, and they're not 100% sure what they are. Now, there's about 200 of them in Scotland, I believe. 20 of them are thought to be on the Isle of Skye. This, is the, this was found in the year 2000, and this is the best example of one. Um, but some of them, they reckon some of the farmers on Sky have actually covered them up when they found them, because they don't want tourists on the land. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit, a bit sad. But yeah, it's down here, Mazzy. I've been here before, by the way. Did you just say they only found this in the year 2000? Yes. Wow. Yeah, it was only found <laughs> in the year 2000. Now, they're not sure what these are for. One thing, there's a few different versions. One thing people said in this, used to say, is that it was in case they got attacked, they could hide underground and they wouldn't be found. But that was rubbished. 
Another suggestion is that they were for burials, some kind of Iron Age burials, but there's never been any proof that they are, there's any burials inside them. So what they're now saying is they were probably used over winter to put things like butter and things inside, cheese or whatever, to keep it fresh over winter. Um, and that's what people are going along with nowadays. Anyway, this is it. Come and have a look at it, Maddie. Oh, God, I don't want to fall. <laughs> yeah, but if you fall, just make sure it's running, yeah? Uh, yeah. So that'll be really funny. And this is it. Wow. <gasps> we can go in. Well, we've got as well as on. We might get in. I don't know how deep it's going to be. Let's have a look. So what they would do is dig out a big pit, put stone walls on each side, a stone top on it and then put the earth back on top so it's underground you can't see it. But I'm going to try and go in now I don't know if uh, this is going to work or not. We forgot to bring the torch. I have got the torch. Oh give me the torch. It's in my pocket I can't get it. <laughs> you are good. Oh yeah. This is a great torch by the way we got this from Go Outdoors very bright. You're not going to get in here, Mazzy. No. I'll tell you now. So here we are inside, guys. I'm having to leave Mazzy outside, poor lass, um, yeah. recording me. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to try and get down, see how far I can go, but it's quite deep. Ugh. And I am crouched right... Oh, I'm not going to get in. It's too deep, Mazzy. Is it? If I go any further, it's going to start going over me. It's probably going to start going over my wellies in a minute. But in there, that's where they're suggesting you'd put things like uh, cheese. But it goes right down. That's about 30 feet down there, and then it goes round the corner. But I'm sorry, I can't take you down there. It's too deep. It's going to go over the top of my wellingtons. But you can see the detail of the walls, the effort they've gone to to make this a nice... A nice place. It's obviously been restored when they found it in 2000 since then, but uh, still very good. Now I've just done something really stupid. Mazzy, I've just knelt my bum into water. Oh, I was gonna. Uh, I I've was got gonna a wet say, bum. Don't lean down too much. <laughs> I've got a wet bum. I've got a wet bum, Mazzy. <laughs> I'm stuck and I've got a wet bum. Oh no! Let me out of here. Iron Age people, why didn't they make it? You know, a person height, that's just stupid. That's the last souterrain I'm ever taking you to. Oh, it's belting it down. Let's see your bum. Is it wet? Oh no! <laughs> so I'm just looking at this uh, diagram outside and it shows you the tunnel. It's like an S shaped tunnel. Um, I'm not sure if that's the entrance, or that's the entrance, to be honest with you. I'm guessing this... No, this must be the entrance. I, yeah, that's where the butter would have been kept, what I said. I only got to there. It goes all the way around there. Fantastic. This is what they're saying the settlement could have looked like all them years ago. So they'd have had the little wooden shack there. And this would have been the souterrain. So this is the other end of it. And there's the entrance right down there. Quite a long tunnel. What was that, Mazzy? What did you just say? I'm soaking wet. Yeah, before that, what did you just say? I'm going to get a dose of ammonia out in this. Oh. You heard it here first, guys. Gonna... Mazzy is going to get a dose of ammonia in this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pneumonia. <laughs> Heavy snow now, guys. You know, we've got some of the places we want to go today are places where we need to go walking, like there's a lovely beach, uh, some glens, sights, and we can't, well, we're a bit worried about the weather. It's very heavy snow right now. If it settles, we could be in trouble. So here we are at Fairy Bridge. I've just brought Mazzy to Fairy Bridge because she loves fairies. This is a really interesting story, this one. I've told it before on my other channel, but not on this one. 
Um, right, there's a fairy. I can't remember her name. Let's just call her Margaret. Should we call her Margaret? It's not a fairy's name. What's a fairy name? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Margaret it is then. <laughs> we'll call her Margaret. She was the chief of the fairies, you know, the king of the fairies' daughter. So she was like Princess Fairy, Margaret. Princess Margaret the fairy. And she met this guy and he was uh, a chief of the McLeod clan. And she met him and, and they're having a good chat, getting on really well and he's having a good look at her, looking her up and down and <laughs> saying, cool, you've got a right pair of wings on you, haven't you? And he fell in love with her. So he says, why don't we get married and stuff? And she says, well, I can't. I've got to be with my, my people, really. I don't think my dad would like that. But I'll ask him anyway. So she went and asked her dad, chief of the fairies, king of the fairies. She says, dad, I like this bloke. He's a, he's a McLean. A McLeod, rather, sorry. Is it McLean or McLeod? It's one of them. And he's like a chief, and I wouldn't mind marrying him. So her dad says, you know what? Don't be stupid. You've got to hang around here with us. And she says, oh, go on, Dad. Dad, go on, please. Please, Dad. I love him, Dad, please. So he says, all right, then you can marry him, but only for a year. You can only be with him for one year and one day. And on that last day, I want you back here at Fairyland. So she goes away and she, she gets married. And they have a really nice year. He gets her up the duff. That's pregnant to some people who don't know what I'm talking about. And she has a baby in that year. And it were really good. But then they had to come here. This is where they met and this is where they had to, she had to come back. So she came back to this spot. She said goodbye to her, to her husband, Mr. McLeod. Or McLean. McLeod, I'm pretty sure it's McLeod. She said, goodbye, Mr. McLeod. I love you forever and ever. Oh, and by the way, here's a flag. She gives him this flag and says, uh, right, if you're ever in distress or you need any help, wave this flag and it gives you like three wishes and we'll sort you out, yeah? So he goes away with his flag and she goes away and he keeps the baby. I don't really get that bit. You know, a mum just leaving a baby. I, I, I don't get it. But she did. She left the baby with, with him and she went back to fairyland. I don't even know if the baby was a proper baby or a fairy baby. I don't know if it had wings. Maybe it didn't have wings, which is why it stayed with him. If it had had wings, it probably would have gone to fairyland because it would have been a fairy. Or what it a boy? Do you have such a thing as boy fairies? Anyway, so yeah, that's the story. And apparently the flag is in the castle just around the corner somewhere, Dun something castle, which is closed at this time of year. So we can't get in there. Personally, I don't know how much of it is true. What about you? Do you believe that yeah. story? Yeah, you, yeah, you would. Um, but yeah, that's the castle. I can't even go on that bridge because it's just completely waterlogged and I've got my white trainers on. But it's Dunvegan Castle. Dunvegan Castle, that's the one. Thank you very much. <laughs> So you've had a walk over, did you yeah, like it? Yeah. Did you feel any presence of fairies or mystical powers or stu stuff no, like that? I might have like, I should have flown flag or something and like a woman in distress. Right, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> On to the next site. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>